New book claims that Clinton campaign hatched Russian hacking narrative 24 hours after Hillary's loss. Hello everyone, Jen here, Golden State Times, and today we have a new story. This one comes courtesy of, of Breitbart.com, and it says that the new Clinton campaign tell all shattered inside Hillary Clinton's doom campaign reveals how Hillary Clinton personally plays blame for her bruising defeat on Russian meddling, quote, within 24 hours of her concession speech. The blistering behind-the-scenes book by Jonathan Allen and Amy Parnes illustrates how Hillary Clinton furiously blamed her defeat on the FBI investigation into her private emails, Russian interference, and Trump's suppo supposed support for white nationalists. So in the book Shattered, it says, quote, on a, on a phone call with a longtime friend a couple of days after the election, Hillary was much less accepting of her defeat. She put a fine point on the factors that she believed caused her presidency, one of them being the FBI Comey, the KGB, the old name of Russian Intelligence Services, and the KKK, quote, the support Trump got from white nationalists. She said, I'm angry, that's what she told her friend, and exhausted. After two brutal campaigns against Sanders and Trump, Hillary now had to explain the failure to friends in a seemingly endless round of phone calls that was taking a toll on her already weary and grief-stricken soul. But mostly, she was angry. Angry that she'd lost and that the country would have to endure a, pre a President Trump. It says that the authors detail how Clinton went out of her way to pass blame on her stunning loss on Comey and Russia. She said, quote, she wants to make sure all of these narratives get spun the right way. That's what a longtime Clinton confidant said, quoting. And uh, it goes on to say that the book further highlights how Clinton's Russia blame game was planned. The plan was hatched by senior campaign staffers like John Podesta and Robbie Muck less than 24 hours after she conceded. And it says from the book, this is quoting the book, and it says, quote, The strategy had been set within 24 hours of her concession speech. Mook and Podesta assembled her communications team at the Brooklyn headquarters to engineer the case that the election wasn't entirely on the up and up. For a couple of hours, the Shake Shack containers littering the room then went on to the script that they would pitch to the press and the public. Already, Russian hacking was the centerpiece of that argument. The article goes on to say that the Clinton camp settled on, two, uh, on a two-piece plan, pushing the press to cover how Russia hacking was the major unreported story of the campaign, overshadowed by the contents of stolen emails and Hillary's own private server uh, debacle. It says that while hammering the media for focusing so intently on the investigation to her emails, which it had created a cloud over her presidency. It goes on to say that, quote, the press botched the email story for 18 months. One person who was part of the strategy was, quote, as saying. It goes on to say, Comey obviously screwed us, but the press created the story. So the article goes on to say that the book also detailed Clinton's confusion and frustration with President Obama, whom she apparently thought didn't do enough to, quote, appraise to appraise the public that the Russians had gone way beyond what what anybody had reported. So here it is, another quote from the book, and it says that she wondered why the president hadn't uh, leaned harder into making the case that Vladimir Putin had specifically targeted her and trying to throw the election to Trump. It says that it was quoted as saying, the Russian stuff has already bothered her a lot, one of her aides said. The aide went on to say, quote, she's sort of lean learning what the administration knew and when they knew it, and she just sort of a quiz, sort of, sort of quizzical right now about the whole thing. 
she can't quite sort it out how this all played out and the way that it did. So it says that on the long list of people, agencies, and international forces, Hillary blames her loss that Obama also had a spot on it. So there's a lot of quotes about this book. Okay, check out the link in the description below for the Breitbart uh, article. You can read it all there. I don't want to make this video 20 minutes long. So make sure to check it out. But Hillary is going to, in reality, blame everybody. She's going to blame Putin. She's going to blame Trump. She's going to blame, you know, Comey and this and that. Even though the mainstream media helped her. Okay. CNN ha is on camera live. Okay. They were live when they said, you know what? We try to help her as much as we could. We couldn't do any more. Okay. Comey helped her immensely. Not once, not twice, but I think three times. Okay. Obama went out to campaign with her, tried to, you know, talk back what he has said before that, you know, Russia, there was not enough evidence, blah, blah. And then later on, right before the election, he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, we have more evidence now that Russia most likely, most likely uh, meddled in the, is, is trying to meddle in the election. Okay. So she blames every single person except herself. The only one to blame is her. Nobody told her to make a email. Nobody told her to have a server. Nobody told her to be corrupt. Just because all of this information comes out, you can't go out and blame everybody else. You're a witch. You're corrupted and you're crooked. That is what cost you the election. Not Comey, not Obama, not anybody of your minions, not anybody that in the media, even though the media helped you immensely. None of them are to blame. The only one to blame is you. So let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. And like always, like this video, share this video, subscribe if you are new. Give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media. Also check out our previous videos that we have uploaded all day. And uh, also today, President Trump uploaded his weekly address to the nation. And uh, it will be a, li a link in the description below. Also, check out our website, goldenstatetimes.com. And I hope to see you guys on the chat. Make sure that if you've been on the part of the community for a while or whatever, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. YouTube has been unsubscribing people for no reason. So double check if you're still subscribed, um, if the notification bell is still on. And, um, and yeah, so if you're new, click that subscribe button, join the community. We welcome you. We stream everything that has to do with administration and also Sean Presser, uh, Sean Spicer Pressers, I'm sorry, and uh, events, Senate proceedings, uh, breaking news, and we upload news every single day to keep you updated on everything that's going on. So it's all, you know, it's all here. So check it out. Check out our channel. And uh, if you like what we do, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. So yeah, folks, thank you very much. Like I said, check the links in the description. I hope to see you guys on the chat next time. But until then, peace.